Moving on. Oh, this is funny. So, um, obviously, you've you've seen the feedback and you've seen in the previous episode that Pop Smokes Posthumous 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 or Posthumous Posthumous. How do you pronounce that? Posthumous Posthumous Posthumous. How do you pronounce that word? Um, the untimely death of Pop Smoke is being immortalized with the release of his debut album. Right, that's meant to be coming out when Friday, Sunday, or something. Right. Um, they enlisted, um, Pop Smoke team enlisted Virgil Abloh to design a cover. Um, according to Pop Smoke's wishes, he wanted Virgil to design the cover. Mm. He didn't get around to he didn't get around to doing it when Pop Smoke was alive. So he decided to finish it up in order to kind of you know um, immortalize him and trib and pay tribute to somebody that he was obviously fairly close to in his short time on this earth, right? And so far, the cover has been getting absolutely ripped online, right? Being absolutely torn to pieces because it's objectively it's shit right that's the that's the matter of fact of it um of course part of the objection towards it is because it's virgil he hasn't necessarily started covid or coronavirus lockdown in the best way right he's kind of been getting dragged online ever since the two virgil saga and he hasn't necessarily recovered right he tried to come back with a half-baked apology then he came through with a statement about him being very 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 black which you know was one of the most funniest statements i've read in a long long time it reminded me of statements from you know the likes of tiger uh the likes of sway lee you know those kind of uh, really nutty statements that you're like who writ this man who told who raised these guys and told them describing yourself as very very black was a good way to get yourself back in the good graces of work twitter it didn't work it didn't work we can say that now right so he tried very earnestly to come back and to sort of um redeem himself to an audience that was never really receptive of him in the first place right i think you should always just play to your audience right those does to work twitter will never give a shit about Virgil mainly because he's married to a white woman and because he seems like a bit of a dope right I guess so maybe that's why it's a bit harsh but I guess it is what it is you should just play to his crowd ignore work twitter don't try and appease them don't try and you know um uh, become an ally or anything because they're never going to accept you they just don't think you're one of them it is what it is isn't it he tries he fails he tries he fails and this is another good example of it but in this whole saga the memes have been pretty funny right so somebody on twitter showed um, a really funny um, mock-up of how easy it is to design the album cover that um, Virgil put together um, to honor Pop Smoke and he did it in under what 41 seconds right via <laughs> photoshop i'm gonna get it up here on the screen and show you guys right this is the let me get up on here for the full screen but this is it look at this let's get right to the front so he's essentially got the image of pop smoke that he googled online uh, on google images and he's basically put it on the square 10 i'm assuming 1080 by 1080 pixel canvas and he's essentially just filling in all the pieces to make it look at the cover that virgil designed quote unquote designed him right <laughs> And he does it all in under 42 seconds. It's absolutely nuts, man. People online are so savage. Um, he's doing the overlays. He's already acted. Uh, he's already added the background with the diamonds, uh, similar to the What Time to Be Alive album cover from Future and, and Drake. Um, he's got that sort of smoky overlay on the top. He's got the barbed wire. That's there. <laughs> the signature piece is on it. Oh my God, man. This is so harsh. And he's adding the, yeah, adding the barbed wire, putting it into position, and then bang, it's all done. It's all done, right? Um, and again, I don't think it's a real problem that he did it really. I don't think this is an issue about, you know, um, not doing the design, not to the design not taking a while, a, a long time to put together. That's not really a problem. Um, you look at the stuff of, you know, you have to look at somebody like, um, who's a good example of this? An artist who you know on paper does artwork that doesn't necessarily seem that difficult i don't know maybe like a jeff coons is a good example um you know work you know balloon rabbits and stuff that are essentially what were they made with aluminium or tin or whatever it may be right they're not the most um high brow or thing to make but you know the application of itself the idea behind it is pretty interesting uh people love them they vibe with it and it's kapoor's sort of like weird um uh sort of like you know circular dish things that he puts on the wall they're pretty i guess um maybe in practice they're hard to make but the idea of it you can also envision yourself doing that as opposed to maybe painting uh, a piece an abstract piece by picasso or something so the actual application of the thing isn't the issue it's just 
objectively doesn't look good, right? But then um, you have people like Theophilus London trying to explain away exactly what's going on, right? And he's getting dragged online as well. And I don't know what world we live in where Theophilus London has to act as the PR for Virgil Abloh, but it's been really funny to see him kind of defending Virgil's honor <laughs> in what's been going on. So this comes from, what was it, three hours ago, right? So this is kind of um, uh, Theophilus London backing his boy and trying to tell us exactly what's going on. He essentially first tweets about what? Supposedly to make everything correct again. You also seen Fear for Sunday tweets. I've also seen the new five Louis V's releasing. Geez, come back about to be stupid. So obviously, you know, Virgil can do no wrong as long as he designs some cool sneakers. That's not the fact, actually. What you've seen is that Virgil's been able to design a really amazing, legendary piece of sneaker history with the Nike 10 collaboration. But regardless of that, people still don't seem to like the guy, right? So if anything, it shows that people are able to separate the guy from the product or the man from the artwork and they're still able to drag him consistently online, which I think is really unfair because unfair, I do think if you strip away from all the cornery and all the doofy stuff he does online, he does do a lot of good, right? He has provided his friends with platforms, with opportunities to travel the world, make something of themselves, you know, change their lives, uh, put them in contact with people because that's the most important thing, right? And this in working in that industry working in that field working in fashion working in the arts working in the creative field you just need access you need doors to be open you need introductions and once you have them you're set you're gucci but you need those introductions and virgil's really generous with the opportunities that he gets given in terms of you know allowing certain friends to take behind the scene press shot behind the scene, uh, bts pictures do look books creative direct consult um act as inspiration muses mood um mood board consultants whatever it may be he He's really good at that but all this sort of tomfoolery online is really distracting from the overall message and the overall point of virgil being at where he is in his career he's meant to act as a lightning rod and meant to act as a kind of um as a measuring stick of what people should be aiming to do if they want to make an in industry especially if you're a minority right because he works it's just you know insanely hard right he's got a million projects on the go he's collaborating everyone on the sun he's really diligent in the work that he puts out he's always quick to ship stuff right he's never somebody that's like you know um uh, satisfied with just having a psd file or something and uploading line sheets of stuff that never it never gets made he actually puts the time and the money behind projects back to himself and you know he's essentially been able to ascend up to the top of the mountain but I don't know, man. It just seems like generally people just don't seem to like the guy. I don't. And again, I wonder what it is because not everyone's had the experience I've had where you've had the opportunity to kind of work around him or be in his kind of presence. Most people are just kind of going by what they see online and making a decision. But I wonder what it is that just rubs them up the wrong way. I wonder. I, I'm not really sure. But, you know, I, I, I don't think having Theophilus London as your PR is a good way to go about things, isn't it? Because he's really capping. He's capping on him. He's, he's caping story in a major, major way. He tweeted about the Louis Five has been a good thing. Uh, what was he saying here? He's saying, um, uh, what was he saying here? He's saying about, was it, let's see his other tweet here. He's really going in about defending him, right? He says, uh, look at the, the first tweet. Look, the cover of Pop was flexed you early. I want to see a good tribute more than anything. I hear you guys. I hear you. He says, I have my own taste. Backstory was it was only to stand as a T-shirt first and foremost for his family. We need a banger to dance to. When Big died, we had new music. Plus Puffy and Sting on MTV. Pac was immortalized. It was about every image. I don't know what he's talking about. He must He must have been. He, he sounds like he's on Adderall or something. That's a bit of a mad tweet. Um, doesn't make much sense. And then someone replies and basically tells him it's crap cover it says hey in everyone's opinion coming on twitter screenshot and they call to boast about your glitch to virgil won't change that the cover was trash and some of the laziest shit we've ever seen call a spade a spade which is true in it that's what you want but i guess these people i don't i don't know what it is about some of these people in in the public eye. i don't know especially when they don't have um it's, it's really nice it's really kind of a it's really refreshing when somebody in the public eye is able to understand the current sentiment of society and just kind of you know go with the flow ignore it or kind of you know let it kind of roll off their chest or whatever maybe roll off their back and kind of keep it moving it's when they sort of engage and try and tell you what you're seeing isn't true or there's more to it that meets the eye but they fail to explain because it's too highbrow it's like come on relax now i understand even though i love kanye now i understand why people dislike kanye fans because kanye fans do that a lot right when kanye does something Something really i don't know let's say he puts some holes in a t-shirt or he designs a, a poster quote unquote and people are like oh man you just don't get it right kanye fans and then people that are neutral are like no it's objectively not good and they're like no 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 kanye is doing some other stuff you just you're not really ready for it it's ahead of his time it's like no it can be ahead of his time later or down the line but at the moment in the current 
time, it's not good. And that's the thing with the Virgil pop smoke cover it's just not that big of a deal it's not good you go back on the drawing board you redo it or you just say this is what pop smoke would have wanted and you just keep it moving because the most important person in this situation is pop smoke's family and his fans if the family and fans like it you just keep it moving if everyone else doesn't like it you forget it um but then um Pure First London, again, the voice of Virgil announces, I hear you. Our call was about the next album mostly, but since I care about the culture, I brought it up. I wasn't, it wasn't a boast. It was, it was a hit. Theo up. He has backstory. Let's start a bigger combo instead of bashing a master. It is a legend. This guy is insane, man. Is as if this is the time to boast about him being a master. And then, of course, he did the standard thing that everyone does. Anyways, we have we've been distracted as a culture. No, we're not being distracted. You got yourself involved in the conversation. You inserted yourself in an issue that has nothing to do with you. And now all of a sudden, we're distracted. These people, man, it's so bloody disgusting, isn't it? Look at him. Anyways, we love to be distracted as a culture. I need y'all to get these books. And of course, you know, you the other books are good, but inserting white fragility in there by Robin D'Angelo is insane, isn't it? That's probably one of the most um cr probably the worst book i've ever read in my life that book is insanely horrible um a white woman essentially chastising white people for being intrinsically racist even when they're unaware that they're being racist saying that there's no hope for racial harmony until whites subjugate themselves to blacks it's an insane book right and it's actually demeaning to black people too because essentially reduces us to race baiting um human beings who will rest at nothing until the white supremacy is toppled and we are the reigning race it's a diabolical book and of course he lists it and i'm sure he hasn't read any of those books in general uh, i can say that with my chest i don't think fear has read any of those books um maybe one maybe two i doubt it very much and he continues here he says i decided a long time ago that the less i do the more artist i am okay david hammond's quote uh so yeah as you can see there i've got one i don't know these guys are insane man but yeah the reaction has been pretty brutal isn't it pretty pretty brutal uh, <laughs> in that regard but the good thing to come out of it has been some of the um uh, some of the alternative album covers that people have been putting together and I've got this thread here from the where's the thread I've got here with the redesigns oh, I did have a thread no I've got some images here of people that redesigned the album cover um, on social media that looks really good um, far better than what Virgil's designed for the time being he could come back with an absolute banger but so far these album covers look pretty cool innit so we've got this one here from a guy called Boss Logic um which is a pretty cool one it says you've got pop smoke um sort of distant disintegrating into some smoke it sort of reminds me of like a daniel arsham piece that would be pretty cool right um that really looks amazing i love that so that's a far better cover than what virgil designed and then we've got another one from a guy called sunny on instagram sunny underscore what sunny underscore 189 and he's got an quite a, a conventional sort of cover with some roses on it a little note with some scribbles on it and pop smoke immortalized there as well that looks really good i'm a big fan of that one right that was pretty cool um and then lastly we have a cover from that's it, isn't it? no no those are those, just those two so far i've seen online that look far better than anything you would have seen from a verge at the moment but it's just funny to see the backlash man like when people don't like you online man you just can't win and i guess the sooner you realize it the, the sooner he just gets back to working and continuing you know pushing culture forward by designing and stuff he does for louis doing off-white continuing with his off-white collaborations with nike this the sooner the better man like you just can't win people have decided they've made their mind up with him and there's no kind of going back really you've even seen it with someone like amanda seals isn't it she seems to be like you know people are just waiting for her to make a mistake to then pile back onto her power back on she presented the bt awards and did a fairly decent job from what i saw and it was i didn't really see anyone praising her only saying anything nice um people were just you know when they don't like it they don't like you even uh, you know a good example Kerry Kardashian's a good example of that as well she seems to get dragged online regardless of what she does right post a picture of her daughter people are commentating on her face post a picture of her and her husband or i don't know her and her baby daddy people are commenting on her face again and relationship sometimes you just can't win people online and you quicker you realize it the better it will be for you